So today I thought it may be fun to actually do a full face of Victoria Beckham makeup. I purchased this last year around Black Friday and it sat in my drawers for the longest time untouched because I wanted to do like a first impressions video on it. Um, and then a couple of weeks ago, I actually went to film the exact video I just did and then I didn't like how it turned out. So I didn't upload it. But so now I'm refilming with a little bit more experience on the products. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into using them. I also want to mention that towards the end of the video, after like I use all the products on my face, I do go over the products again and offer a couple of less expensive or more available alternatives if you can't find Victoria Beckham Beauty near you. Um, and I also talk about the things that I think are special and that are harder to duplicate as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. So Victoria Beckham doesn't have any base products like foundations or concealers. So I did go in and go ahead and do that so that we can start out with the bronzer. So I have the shade 01, which has warm dusk and the contour shade in sun kissed. Um, this is very light on this side, the shade that warms. And then I guess the contour is a little bit deeper. I really like these because I have pretty fair skin and the best thing about the shade that warms it it just adds a little bit of yellow and I like to use them where I go ahead and I put in the contour and then I blend out with the bronzer so that my look is more cohesive and it's blended and there aren't any lines so instead of just telling you about it let's go ahead and do that all right so I'm going to go in with the more deep shade and kind of put it in my contour areas then I always kind of bring it down here as well. So, and then I'm going to put a little bit across my hairline at the top. And then on the bridge of my nose to kind of, well, not really the bridge, but down the sides, I guess. And I don't know why. I think I do that just because I don't want my nose to be stark. I'm not really trying to like contour anything on my nose. And then I go in with a larger brush and I dip into this shade. And then kind of go around the areas where the sun hits and also just to kind of blend that in. So then again, I go around the forehead, but I'll go a little bit lower into the rest of my face. And I also bring this down my neck Again, go over the nose and I blend. So my face is bronzed and contoured without looking overly done. Um, and so I really like this product, which I'll go over the product in the end, but um, spoiler, I like that one. So I want to go in now with the blush. The blush is a cream I've already kind of powdered my face, but you can still put this on over powder without any issue. If you were somebody like me right now, I'm suffering from a few breakouts. You may see them here. I covered them a little bit and I do have a little bit here on my cheek here. You can go ahead, do your foundation, your concealer and powder, and then you can go in with the blush. So this I like to actually get on my fingers. I have the shade Roller Skate. It's a super bright coral. And I like to get it into my middle fingers just to really work it in and then start dabbing. I don't know why I just moved that hand over there. <laughs> I guess I'll even it out over here. I have no idea why I did that. And then so I put it down with the middle fingers and I've got like product there and then I take the clean fingers and then just kind of dab around. I'm just kind of go back and forth until it's blended the way I want it to. And because this blush is kind of like a thicker, more pigmented formula, warming it up on your fingers is best to apply it. I think first then just doing a swipe and then trying to blend it out on your face because that will probably disrupt anything you have going on underneath it. Um, but also it's a good thing. A lot of cream blushes don't want to stay for a long time. And since this one is that thicker formula, I have no problem with it staying on my face throughout the day. Okay, so let's get into eyeshadows. 
I have a little bit of a bone to pick <laughs> with Victoria Beckham over these eyeshadows. And the, there's a few things. The first thing is the fact that they are all in one brick style pan. And anything I've ever purchased in a brick style pan that has separated colors, if I tend to favor one color over the others, what ends up happening is once that shade is used up, the pan just kind of starts to crumble. So that's a problem, especially when it's like this and like say I really enjoy this gold and I use up all of that, then there's a gap in the pan between this and this and they either move around in the pan or they just completely crumble and it's done. So I don't like that. Um, and then also the other thing that I kind of had a bone to pick <laughs> with these particular eyeshadows is the fact that I don't really find any of them to have like a complete look. Well, maybe, maybe one. So this one is all shimmery. And so the only way I really use this one is if I want like a, almost like a one and done eyeshadow look and I blend these all together and I kind of give myself a bronze eye. Um, I can add a little bit of dimension by then going back and putting in a little bit of the deep shade on the outside and maybe a little bit of this one like on the center or in the inner corner where it doesn't look too different, but it, it's all shimmer. So that's the problem with that one. The problem with this one is this is the closest thing that I would get to having an all over eye look. Um, but the problem with it is it, to me, it just leans a little bit too gray, brown, cool for me. Um, and the pink, it's just not the right shades. So for a different person, I think this would be great, but they just don't have one for my complexion. That would be a good tone match. And the one that's closest to like a sort of, I guess like tone match would be this one, but this one right here doesn't really have a shade light enough to maybe I like the brow bone and all these shades are pretty close to one another in depth. Um, so there's not a whole lot of contrast. So even if this were made for like a person with darker skin and this was kind of their all over, these three shades don't offer a ton of contrast. They offer variance in like the actual shade and the color if you want to do that. But I mean, it's, there's not a whole lot going on. So none of these are really like one and done shadows, at least not one and done shadows, but like where if I were to travel and I just take this, it I would have to take something else. I can't just take this. They are fairly compact, so that's not a huge deal. But I just think kind of for the price, um, you could go with something like Chanel or Dior and those don't really have any of the issues that these have. But with all of that being said, let's dip into them and try to create an eye look. I'm obviously gonna have to use more than one palette. So I am gonna go with the lightest shade available as my all over shade, even though I think this might be a little bit deep for that. Um, but I did just recently do a Lisa Eldridge video and she started all of the looks with kind of like a base shade. And I used to not do that because I felt like doing that would cause um, the more intense shades going on top to be more subdued, which it kind of does, um, but I just never did it. I always put the colors where I wanted and then I blended, but I actually enjoyed all the looks that I did from the Lisa Eldridge video. So I'm just gonna kind of play around and put this over. And you can see it's a little bit deeper. It's not too bad. If I were just trying to even out my eyelids I think that I could go with this um, and call it a day but it is slightly deeper than my skin and then also I do have on the bronzer and I use a foundation today that's a little bit deeper um, than what my skin is right now by the way the foundation I'm using if you're curious is this um, forever skin glow from Dior and it's in the shade 1.5 N and I find um, it is a little bit deep for me. Not too, too deep, but it is a little bit. So I have that base shade on and that's really all I wanna use from <laughs> this palette today. Um, and then I wanna go in with this palette and dig into this shade right here and kind of put it on the outer area right here. Maybe bring it into the center slightly but I wanna keep the inner portion bright. 
Then I'm going to go in with this brush and just kind of blend all of that out. And then I do want to hop in with the more bronzy palette. And I am going to do the thing that I had suggested by just like mixing them all together. And I'm just going to give a wash over the lid. So I do want to grab kind of a smudge brush here and take um, something under the eye. I think I'm going to do like a similar situation where I kind of dab in this bronze palette. Yep. And then just kind of run some of that bronziness under. And then I do have one of these. These are called the Lid Lusters and I have the shade Chiffon. So with this, it kind of comes with a little stopper on top and it's one of those shades that's actually best applied with your fingers. It's kind of a topper shade. And the amount of pressure that I use to apply this on my lids is different than like here. So here it looks like beautiful and shiny, but the amount of pressure that I need to use to then apply it to my lids to kind of get that same shiny effect is kind of a bit much. Um, but it is glittery. Um, if I just apply it lightly, but if I want like a foiled effect, you kind of have to like rub it in back and forth and I don't want to be that rough on my eyelids. So I'm just going to get some here and apply it, I guess as rough as I can be <laughs> um, on the lid, I'm like trying to move in so I can see and so you can see. And I do have an eyeliner as well. Um, I find that this eyeliner is super, super blendable and it's very pigmented. It's probably one of the creamiest, nicest liners that I have. I'm not much of a liner person. I don't wear a ton of eyeliner, but if you're looking for a really nice eyeliner, these are super nice. Um, so I'm just going to kind of dab a little bit along my lash line. and then use the smudger on the end to kind of work it in and diffuse it. If you were looking for a really nice sort of smudgy eyeliner to use as like a base to a smoky eye, this would be the perfect one. It blends so easily. Okay, so let's pop on some of this mascara. So this I believe is a tubing mascara because when I wash it off, it kind of comes off in clumps. So I do like that it is, is easy to take off in that sense. And also it is really good about not running like when I'm working out or sweating or you know, if it rains outside, whatever. But since it is like a thicker consistency and the brush is like so small and thin and the bristles aren't very firm, what ends up happening is, is like I have a really hard time moving it through my lashes to where it comes like goes all the way to the end. As you can see, I'll get like some color at the bottom, but like I really have to try to work it through to get it to the end. And I also like crinkle up my forehead <laughs> trying to do it. I shouldn't have to like scrunch my forehead so much to try to get a mascara on. Okay, and then I just don't have the energy to continue trying to build this up, so this is the mascara. All right, so let's take a look at the lip products now. I have three. Um, the one thing I wanna talk about is the packaging. The packaging on these like beautiful glass. Um, so A plus packaging and it also has like that beautiful tortoise shell pattern that is on all of the other makeup. Like the aesthetic of this makeup is like top notch. Um, I have two shades in this lip stain. Um, I will have to put them on the screen. I know one is Bisu and I believe it's the darker one. Yes, I believe this one is Bisu. But one of my main complaints about this, which might only be a complaint if somebody's trying to tell somebody else what the shade is, but also if you want to repurchase it, you may not remember, um, that this glass packaging that kind of has like this at the bottom, that's where they put the stickers with the shade names, but the stickers didn't stick to it. So they kind of just came off and now I have no idea what these are called. Um, 
and you can just go look on the website. I believe when I bought these, there were three shades. I think now there's two more, so there's a total of five shades. You can probably figure it out. Um, but here are the two shades I have. This is Bisu, and then on the screen will be this one. Um, I also want to point out that these have like a stain. So it's like a almost like a gloss stain situation. They have a very beautiful light feel. Um, this one is like a terracotta with like a pink stain underneath and then this is more like a um, like I don't know like a brownie plum uh, sort of shade a little bit red a little bit plum um, and then that one has like a similar stain under it you can kind of see the color of the stain that's on the more dry parts of the applicator so you can kind of see that this one has like a more brown kind of gloss but then like a more pinky stain so I have a favorite shade which is the more brown one but let's go in just for funsies with the other shade here Ooh. they're very wet I was trying to dry it by like doing that um but these are just so pretty i rub it in and I am going to add some eyeliner really quickly no and I am going to add a little bit of lip liner this is my current favorite by the way this is the Patrick Ta and this is the precision lip crayon in the shade she's strong And then I want to go in with the gloss. So the gloss is just a clear gloss. She has colored glosses, but I'm pretty plain. <laughs> so I don't have a ton of colored glosses. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply a little bit. Actually, I'm going to put it on my finger and then put it on my lips. Uh, I have a pet peeve about getting lipstick on a clear gloss. And then those are all of the products I have. I'm going to go like fix my hair and try to be somewhat presentable. And then I will be back to talk about all of these products. Okay, so I've done my hair and I thought that maybe while I was doing it, I would just go ahead and take off that lip color that I had on. And you can see the other one on. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the more brown one. If I can find it here. So you can see the shade. This is my favorite. And like it definitely goes on like a warm brown. But then the rosy stain is under it. So let's go through talking about the products. So the first thing that I started with and I already told you that I really enjoy it. So I don't have much else to say, but I will kind of go over the basics here. This is my absolute favorite product, I believe, from her line. Um, in this packaging, it is refillable. So you can get a bit of a discount if you just get the refill pan next time you go to order. But I do want to point out that there's not a whole lot of product in here. Um, it looks like a large pan of product, but you only get 9.6 grams. And if you were to compare that to say um, other bronzers, let me just get one that's kind of like what I would consider to be like a standard bronzer. So this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess is 21 grams. This Makeup by Mario is 12 grams. So it seems like a larger product, but you're not getting as much in it. But I really do like the effect it has. And I think maybe since it's a thinner formula and you're not using as much when you use it, maybe it will last a little bit longer. Okay, so let's jump into these eyeshadow quads. I think you already know these are not my favorite for many reasons. Like already mentioned, the pans that really have no dividers between colors. So if you were somebody who you want to use the colors all individually, um, it's a little bit annoying. But if you're also somebody who likes to mix and kind of dabble your colors, like especially in this one, that's what I like to do in this one, it could be a good thing. So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. But again, if you do use one shade quicker than the other shades, chances are it's probably gonna crumble inside the pan and that's annoying. This is not refillable like the bronzer is. The packaging looks the same, but these are not refillable pans. Also a downside to those is the fact that it's actually hard to find one that would suit your skin tone and be like 
like a all in one sort of palette that would give you a complete eye look. So chances of that happening are very slim. If you were looking for something similar um, in price range that would be more kind of all encompassing, Lisa Eldridge just came out with some palettes that I think the, the shades curated in those, you would be able to um, have full looks and um, the price range is similar, but also Chanel and Dior are right there with it and you can get full complete eye looks using those as well. So this eye product, it is beautiful, like fully swatched out. If you like really dig in there, oh, got too much. If you really dig in there and then you like give a good swatch, look how beautiful. My problem is you have to really dig into it to make that happen but then also you have to really press in to the skin to give it that foiled effect. And I have it on my eyes right now and I don't have that foiled effect because I'm not gonna really dig into my eyeball. So um, I wish that maybe the formula were a little less firm in that way to where you wouldn't have to really press into your eyeball to make that happen. Because I mean, that's pretty. That's like a wet look shadow but it never looks wet on my lid because I'm not gonna push that hard on my eyeball. So then my second favorite item is the blush. I like this so much because it's a firm pigmented formula. It does warm up nicely on the fingers, so when you go to apply, you can blend it nicely, but then the color stays on the cheeks and it's beautiful. She has some very interesting colors. I am interested in looking at some of her other shades, um, but I really like this. I think. Also, I put it on over powder today and I don't have any highlighter on. I know that Victoria Beckham does make a highlighter, but when I purchased all of this, she didn't have a highlighter at the time, um, which I purchased this <laughs> about a year ago and I'm just now getting around to making the video. But you put it over powder and it kind of gives like that life look back to the skin. So I really, I really like this a lot. And then with the lip products, I really like these lip stains. I think the packaging is beautiful. I think that the effect is beautiful on the lips. What I will say is though, they're pretty pricey and there are tons of lip stain alternatives um, through the K-Beauty market for less than $10 each. Um, let me pull some from my drawer just to kind of give you a quick example. Okay, so I did pull a couple. One isn't K-Beauty, but I thought I would share it with you. This from Dior gives a similar effect. So you kind of see, um, it's like a stain gloss situation. And this is in the shade 421 Natural Tea. And I even find that the shade is actually very similar to my favorite shade from the Victoria Beckham. And then this is from a company called Romand. And this shade is called Pomelo Skin. It's number 22. And this isn't really like a shade dupe, but you can kind of see it's kind of got that tan I mean, kind of close. It kind of has like a tan effect, but it also does have a staining effect too. And these I believe are around seven or eight dollars each. And then this is from Etude and this is their fixing tint in kind of like the same sort of ordeal. It's a gloss with a stain underneath. So I don't think that you necessarily need the Victoria Beckham. The packaging is beautiful. The shades are beautiful, but I don't really find that they're necessarily special. And then the gloss. It's a clear gloss. She does have colored glosses. I'm just not a colored gloss person. But if you were looking for a good clear gloss, I don't find that this formula is anything special. And I have a few from less expensive companies. Hold on just a second. So honestly, you can use any clear gloss from anywhere as long as you like the formula. I have three here that I do like the formula to. This first one is from Morphe, which I'm not really like a Morphe person, but this is the Glassified Lip Oil. What I like about this over other glosses is the fact that it's not a doe foot and it comes out this way to where um, you don't have like, you don't use it and then you're like dipping it back in. So I do actually like the applicator of this one a little bit better. Um, this is from Floss. It looks like it's a pink gloss, but it's a clear gloss. Put some on the back of my hand here. And then of course, this is from Merit and this is the shade Bel Air. This is kind of yellow tinted because it has like little tiny gold flecks in it, but you don't really see the gold flecks when you wear it and it's just a beautiful clear gloss. It's right there. And then I think the last thing I have to talk about is this eyeliner. I'm not an eyeliner person, 
but I really like this. I think this eyeliner is very versatile. It is super creamy, super blendable. Um, like there it is. And then look how well this blends. You could wear that on its own kind of as a smoky shadow. You could use it as a base for an eye look. Um, I like to work it into the lashes and then just kind of blend it in to kind of give like a blurred thicker lash effect. I really, really like the formula on this. And you know, at first I was thinking like, well, there are tons of creamy blendable eyeliners. I went through the eyeliners that I have and I would say that this is the most blendable, most creamy eyeliner that I have. So with that being said, I think if you were going to purchase from Victoria Beckham Beauty, the things that I would suggest would be the bronzer. I think this is great. It comes in multiple colors. The blush, um, again, I really like the way it wears on the skin. It wears for a long time. Um, and you can put it over powder products, which I mean, you can't any, but it doesn't pick it back up because it's a thicker formula. Um, and then also the eyeliner. I think that's pretty special, which most people when they're looking for something special usually gravitate towards um, eyeshadows and things like that. But I really don't find their eyeshadows to be all that exciting. Um, I do really like these lip products. I think the packaging is beautiful, but like as mentioned, I have found alternatives um, for cheaper or more accessible. I feel like the Dior is a little bit more accessible than just ordering off of Victoria Beckham's website. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Cross my name off the list. This is without my